Colleen here from Feel Great Reflexology and Massage Cupping. I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to be making some magnesium lotion. And I have purchased some magnesium chloride flakes. And this is what we're going to be using. And we're going to be mixing it with some butters. Some shea butter, coconut oil, and beeswax in order to create our lotion. So what I've done so far is I've incorporated half a cup of magnesium flakes with three tablespoons of water and I'm just mixing it together and you can see how the flakes have started to dissolve very quickly with just three tablespoons of water and the goal is to continue to dissolve the magnesium flakes and then to add the butters into the um, boiling pot of hot water that I have and we just simmer it. So we'll make sure that we turn it down low and we're gonna make sure that we also um, mix our butters and our waxes to melt them in the boiling pot of water. And it'll take a few minutes, it'll take about five minutes, so we'll just continue to mix it. And once we do that, we'll incorporate our magnesium chloride with our butters and then we will make sure that we mix all the ingredients with an immersion blender and I'll show you what that looks like once our butters and oils are melted. Okay, so we're back after melting all of our ingredients. We've dissolved the magnesium chloride flakes in some hot water and we've also dissolved our beeswax, our shea butter, and our coconut oil. And now we're gonna incorporate the two and then we're going to use our immersion blender and give it a little mix. So it's interesting when you mix the um, magnesium chloride flakes, they actually, actually there's a few flakes at the bottom. Very hard to see them when you're uh, mixing it because the mixture does get cloudy but it actually turns into an oil. So even though we've added water to the magnesium chloride flakes, it's actually an oil that is produced after um, the, the dissolving takes place. So now that um, I have uh, incorporated the two, I am going to get my immersion blender working. So it's gonna get a little noisy and uh, bear with me as we incorporate our mixture. Oops. 